This is Gazette News. I'm Adam Hughes. And I'm Swatcher Ray. This week in news, we have the Grizzly Gazette. We have been building the site for next year over the summer. The Gazette is now accessible online at grizzlygazette.net. Again, that's grizzlygazette.net. There are still some things to be worked on. We have articles being posted about Boys State, the Majorettes, Band Camp, Grizzcom Summer Camp 2, and more. We also have a video posted about Grizzcom Summer Camp. Grizzcom Summer Camp is a summer program where students come in and learn from journalism students about media and digital communication. The camp is open to everyone, so definitely browse the site to find out more. We have a lot of things going on this summer on campus. We currently have workers cleaning the campus to prepare for the new school year. This work includes painting the rails and walls, sweeping and mopping the pyramid, scraping gunk off windows and walls, and much more. Now we will go to Madeline, who is on the site. I'm Madeline. I'm Fernando. How are you doing? Pretty good. So, um, what are you working on now? Well, right now we're kind of, we've got our, our uh, paint crew here that we have here. There's still the two other gentlemen that are here. We're out there painting the uh, pyramid. Uh, our boss is right, right there, is Dennis Orozco, there, the guy that's right there. And my other assistant there is uh, uh, Oscar Bravo. Hey, look up Oscar. Oh, say hi. <laughs> Um, so how long have you guys been working? Since, uh, I think it was uh, June the 6th, was it, Oscar? I think it was June yeah. the 6th, huh? Thursday. We started out the, doing the uh, all the planters, take all the soil out. You can see the pile over there, on the corner over there. Took all the soil out and washed it, and we're getting down to the nitty-gritty now. Cleaning is not the only thing that is happening on campus this summer. The majorettes are out there practicing this summer, learning their new routine for the field show with the band. They have been out there practicing for weeks, so their routine should be coming along nicely. Our majorettes are outstanding and definitely one of Porterville's elite. They have taken first place two years in a row at the Selma Band Review, blowing Menachi out of the water. However, the majorettes have suffered two losses this year due to graduation, but they are still expected to, do, to be just as strong as ever. Now we will go to Mary Schofield, interviewing one of our majorettes. Hi, my name is Mary Helen with the Grizzly Gazette, and I'm here interviewing Danny Raffnan. So, Danny, how long have you been in the Majorettes? Well, the Majorettes I've been in since my freshman year. I'm a junior now. Baton I've been in Olden since I was four. I started off doing team for Portable Twilorettes, then I did team for Diamond Stars, and then I did team for Portable Twilorettes again. And then I quit that and did solo down south, and then I started twirling with Dazzling Dynamics and for Granite again. So, so far, how have you been liking Majorettes? Summer practices, I don't like them very much, but I'm here for chair from 6 to 8, and then I come to Majorette, and i rather have the routine down and have all the material down and really good for our performance and get it done with over the summer than having to do it last minute whenever we start the season. So I think it's better that we're doing it for summer practice instead of barely whenever we're performing. Speaking of field shows, band camp should be starting soon. Mr. Christensen has planned a video game feature for this year's field show. The band camp dates have not been declared yet, but it will be soon. So keep an eye out for that. Now to Bailey with weather. Thank you, Adam. Hi, I'm Bailey Bennett here with weather. This week we'll be in the triple digits. Today our highest is, 100, is at 104 and our lowest is at 69. Thursday's highest is also 104, lowest at 69. Friday and Saturday our highest is 103 and lowest is at 60 or 71. On Saturday our highest is 103 and lowest at 70. There's no sign of cooling down so we have to deal with the heat for a bit longer. We suggest that you stay inside and do whatever you can to cool off. Our allergy report for this week in, is in the mid medium with levels at 5.4. Well, that's it for weather. Thank, back to you, Adam. Thank you, Bailey, for the report. Now we will go to a commercial break, and we'll be back with a report of WASC. Thanks to 
Instagram. Hi, we are back and there's still a lot to say about activities going on at Granite Hills. Ms. Esberg is on campus finishing the WASP report. We will go to Chris Bittner and Ms. Esberg to find out what the WASP report is all about. Hello, I'm Chris Bittner here with Grizzcom Summer Camp 2 and I'm interviewing Mrs. Edsberg about WASC. Now, what does WASC stand for? WASC is the, Associ the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. And oh, what, what do they do when they come to Granite Hills? Um, the visiting committee will take a look at our program, make sure that we've had um, our staff, our parents, our students involved in creating a, a plan of action that is uniquely granite. What does granite need and what, what does granite need to do to follow through with that plan of action? Okay, and when does, like, when does WASC come and what do they do when they come? Um, the WASC Visiting Committee is coming October 5th through the 7th. They'll be here Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. While they're here, they'll talk with the leadership staff and kind of get an idea whether we um, implemented the program right. That they have a plan of action. The plan of action is this wonderful manual right here that's dog-eared and, and written into and written on, excuse me. Okay, and no, not during the school year, during the summer, what, what does WASC do? Well, the la this last uh, three weeks, um, has been a process of putting everything together. Um, all year, you know, do, we've had focus groups and home groups, and they've gathered data, and you know, had conversations, written up, you know, some of the report. We're going to take that. I'm taking that report right now, and I'm putting it into the format that they want. So I've got to make sure all the data is correct. I've got to double check on everything. We're doing editing. We're rolling all of the writing over into um, one major document. And then uh, categorizing all the evidence so that you have to prove everything you say, you have to prove. There has to be a piece of evidence attached to it. That's what's going on this summer. Okay. Did you hear that? This is Chris Bittner reporting live with WASC, Mrs. Edsberg, at, with Grizzcom Summer Camp 2. See ya. Thank you. Now we will go to Erica Arcos with sports. Thank you, Adam. This segment on sports, the Grizzly teams are meeting up this summer to prepare for the fall season. We have the volleyball team meeting up in the gym and going over drills. Richard Lambie, the varsity volleyball coach, has been conditioning his players to be in good shape for the season. Also, he has been pre preparing the newbies so they would know what to expect during the season. We also have the water polo and football team meeting over the summer doing the exact same thing. Well, that's all for sports. Come back in the fall to hear a lot more about the teams. Back to you, Adam. In world news, the U.S. is prepared to offer up to $50 million for Mexican cartel leaders. The Mexican cartel is the most notorious drug cartel in Mexico. The top three leaders of the cartel, Antonio Galán, George Castella, and Herberto Lascana, have been indicted. Fifteen other suspect members were also listed in the indictment. The State Department is offering rewards of totaling up to $50 million for information leading to the capture of four top leaders and six other cartel lieutenants. In other news, a horrific flood struck Mongolia last week, leaving 24 dead and hundreds homeless. The International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies are on the scene working with local authorities to distribute emergency goods to the flood victims. Well, that's all we have for this segment. Come back in the fall to hear more about what's going on on the Grizzly campus. There will be a lot more activities during the school year, so don't miss out. I'm Adam Huth. I'm Swachi Reddy. Until next time.